Bumper up bake, but a boop, it's music lover. And well, I am going to bring back a series that I have not done in, oh, I'd say a while. <laughs> At least maybe a year, actually. The Brenda Walsh Daily Devotional. I um, have my new Touch Plus. I was so busy last night playing around with it and having way too much fun with it. But I am so glad to have this new piece of tech, this new addition to our technology family. Now, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the reason why I've stopped for a while, and that is because for the Braille Note Touch, the um, original Braille Note Touch, <clears throat> um, the Brenda Walsh app is no longer accessible on there. But on the Touch Plus it is, and I can even read you the scriptures. Like, remember how I was telling you to look them up? Well, now I'm going to read the devotional and the scriptures. And yes, I am recording this in my pajamas because you know what? It's morning time, although when I post it, it probably won't be morning. But And for some of you, it's not. But over here for me, it is. And I think, you know, morning's a great time to read your devotional and get your day started with the Word of God. Um, by the way, this video is not to offend any other, any other beliefs or anything. I just want to share my faith. And I know I haven't done praise time. I know I haven't done that. I was planning on doing it and then things got, circumstances happened and things like that. Maybe I'll bring it back. Maybe I won't. I'm not going to promise anything. But I think morning time is a great time to get into the word of God and these are from an app called Sharing God's Love, or you can just search Brenda Walsh in iOS or Google Play. So, Tuesday, May 4th. yes, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> I'm going to try to upload it on the same day, possibly later on in the day, but these will be, let me turn off the speech. These will be recorded in the morning. So let me open it up. What do we have here today? It is called Get Back Up. That's the name of our devotional. And by the way, it will be in the description box so you can follow along. The text you, you can look up. But the actual devotional will be in the scripture. And I'll read the text out loud. But here we go. The Bible doesn't... Well, actually, let me just start with the name of the devotional. Here we go. Get Back Up. The Bible doesn't teach that when you surrender your heart and life to Jesus, that you will never sin again. But it does tell us that sin will no longer have control over you. When Jesus died on the cross, the power and bonds of sin were broken. However, the strength required to gain the victory comes continually from Jesus. Just because you're struggling, though, doesn't mean you're failing. It means you are human and that you need God's strength to claim the victory. When you fall, God has made the provision for you to make it right. Instead of laying down in the filthy puddle of sin and regret, take hold of God's outstretched hand. And get back up. There is hope. Amen to that. And oh. There we go. It would. <clears throat> oh here's a good verse right here. First John 1 9 tells us. But if we confess our sins. He is faithful and just. And will forgive us our sins. And purify us from all unrighteousness. Jesus hears every sinner's prayer and stands ready to give you a fresh start. The first thing to do when you are tempted to do wrong is to put distance between you and the forbidden fruit. In other words, like what's tempting you. Immediately go to your knees and put out an SOS to heaven and God will send tens of thousands of angels to be at your side in an instant, 
should the need arise. And by the way, I should also mention here, you can pray. You don't have... It says here to get on your knees and pray, but you can you can pray anytime, anywhere. It doesn't have to be specific. You know, while you're walking, just pray to yourself in your heart. God will hear you. All right, let me continue. Because of Christ's sacrifice on Calvary, you are no longer a slave to sin, and you have the promise of eternal life with Jesus where there will be no more sorrow, tears, pain, death, or sin. But each day will be more glorious than the day before. I will put this in the description box below. Let me go to the scripture headings here. I'm so excited I can actually read this to you guys again. Okay, Psalms 34, 27. By the way, I'm reading from the New King James Version. Or that's basically what the devotional is using when they quote. Though he... (sighs) Sorry about that. Allergies this morning. (laughs) Though he fall, he he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholds him with his right hand. 2 Corinthians 4, verses 8 and 9. We are hard pressed on every side yet not crushed we are perplexed but in but not in despair persecuted but not forsaken struck and down but not destroyed Micah 7 verse 8 do not rejoice over me my enemy When I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. And Proverbs 24, verse 16. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. And there there you have it for today's devotional. Hope everyone enjoys. I might. Uh, I don't know exactly when they'll be uploaded each day. Um, I already uploaded a video earlier today. So I'm going to try to. I, I will upload this later on today. But I am going to tr- do my best. To remember to record these. Um, daily. If not. I'm not going to make a promise or anything like that. But. This this series will. Last on the channel. and I'm so glad that it will. Despite all that's going on. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this devotional. Let me walk. Set you over here. I am liking my new Brother Touch Plus. I really am. And you'll be seeing more tutorials on that later as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. Music lovers signing off. But always remember that. Times it's okay to be random. <laughs>